What's up, YouTube? I'm Johnny Gray, and welcome, well, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Where we keep it what? Where we keep it classy and not trash, but good if we need to. Period. And today, as you can see by the title, I'm gonna be taking it out of my hair. Y'all, I've had these braids in since October. Yeah, I got them for my birthday, and yeah, it's like I got new growth in a lot of areas in the back, whatever. But yeah, it's time to take these out because the ends are horrendous, and I know my I know my hair is very much dirty. So yeah, I gotta stop neglecting my hair. Anyways, before we get into every single last video, y'all already know the drill. Like, subscribe, comment, turn on my post notifications, and share with y'all friends. Because y'all about with me, they might about with me, and we can all just about together. And let's get into the video. Alright, y'all, so for right now, I'm going to cut all these real quick. Whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to just speed it up at this point. Stuff. This is what I look like with a bob. If I do get some braids again, I might. I might do a little short bob, but I don't like short hair for real, so yeah. But excuse the mess behind me. I had to change angles because my mirror is right here and I need my mirror to see what I'm doing. So yeah. Alright, so this video won't just be me taking down my braids. I'm actually going to talk to y'all about some things um i asked y'all on my instagram page like wait y'all wanted to like some girl talk slash tech talk um questions but a lot of folks did not respond so once again if you don't follow my social medias go ahead go down to my description box go click those links and follow me on them because so you, so you can be able to put in your little two cents in some of these videos so um, the only topic that was put up there was mental health, and so we're just going to talk about that a little bit. Um, I'm not going to disclose too much because I do want to do a separate video on mental health, but yeah, I just haven't, <laughs> haven't got there yet. Oh, period, growth, <laughs> growth, but girl, oh my god, it grew. Y'all, I be mean, fretting like my hair not long. In the ease, like y'all says, I do need to clip my ends though. But uh, it's 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 the girls for me. It's the girls for me. Um, but yeah, myself. Okay, so for my people out there that have trouble, like dealing with their mental health, it is completely okay. And some people that, and for those that are not aware. Of their mental health like where they at mentally or whatever that's okay too because a lot of people don't even know what mental health is until they get into like middle school and high school like folks don't be knowing what, what that is yeah i would say like seventh grade and up that's when like you figure out what mental health really is but um it is completely okay if you don't if this is like your first time hearing about it because, like I said, a lot of people don't don't know about it for real, and that's okay. But I do encourage everybody to learn what mental health is and to learn how to better deal with their own. Y'all, look at all this dirt. Oh my gosh, I should wash my hair. I wish it. was just being lazy, y'all. I'm gonna go do my hair. But um, yeah. Me personally. I have a hard time dealing with my emotions, so most of the time, if you ask me how I am, I'm gonna say I'm fine or I'm okay. But like, if I if I mess with you for real, I'll probably be like, physically, um, I'm good, but mentally, I don't know. So yeah, um, with me, it's hard to express 
my emotions. Like, I don't know how to express my emotions for real. Um, I am trying to get better and actually allow myself to start feeling whatever. But yeah, it's 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 gonna take. Oh my god. Well, um, it is a process. So don't be mad at yourself. Like the first couple, like don't just don't get upset with yourself if you don't completely understand yourself. It's cool. It takes time. It takes progress to um to learn like your ways and what you be what you be doing and what you need to do. Um. For me, like a coping mechanism is for me to actually like, I have no emotions. It would be, okay, something will happen and like, yeah, uh-uh. I get in, my emotional default is I don't give a fuck. So I will, ha I will carry that attitude around. Like you'll ask me about, you can ask me about the situation, but I don't care, I honestly don't care um, how I'm feeling. I don't know, but I don't care about it and that's that. Which I'm trying to trying to stop that. Like I want to create healthy coping mechanisms for myself and to like better my experience with getting around my emotions and things. Y'all be like, why are you using this big ass comb? Well, because I don't <laughs> I am my mom little one. But the girls, like my hair is so thick and it feels so thick. But yeah, um, else can I talk about so okay so speaking of coping mechanisms um I know most of my coping mechanisms they're all are not healthy like I'm gonna just put that out now all my coping mechanisms are not healthy can I turn into something healthy yes a few of them can I can make a few of my coping mechanisms healthy I just have to try and that's that's something that I have to do on my own. Um, also, your mental health is something that you have to, you have, sometimes other, like, it's good to get advice from other people, but can nobody truly help you in your mental state more than you can? Like, it takes for you to know yourself and get to know yourself, to know how you personally feel about things and how you deal with emotions and when something traumatic or just like something emotional that causes some type of emotion happens it's up to you oh my god i'm gonna lose so much i'm gonna have so much breakage right? but it's up to you to fit like to figure that out and like i said it takes time it's it's not something that you're gonna know overnight it don't work like that it's not something that you're gonna get overnight and that's okay like I also want folks to know that like it's okay that if you think that you feel for something and like it comes back up and still affects you that's completely okay now the way it affects us is going to be different how long it takes us to get over it or how we deal with it that will change over time like say if you have some childhood trauma or whatever and like when you first figure out what it actually is, it's like, okay, I know what it is, but like, all right, it's gonna, this gonna have me down for a couple weeks. Then those couple weeks turn into one week. That one week will turn into six days. Them six days will turn into two days. And it will, it will go like that. When going on your mental health journey and getting yourself together, getting your personal stuff together, getting your mental together, I'm basically repeating myself, but you know what I'm saying, like getting yourself together, count your progress, like it might not seem like you're going anywhere, and that's because you're on the inside looking in, but I'm telling you, if you will ask somebody on the outside, like... You ask somebody on the outside that's looking in and they will tell you like yeah they'll tell you if you're doing better or doing good like if it's a close friend they will let you know for real like some folks just be out here hanging whatever and they want to see you down and they don't want to see you do better so they might they might do a couple lies and try to get you down but the real ones will let you know and eventually you will figure you'll find out who the real ones and who the real ones are in your show or your square, or your triangle, like, 
whoever is in your squad, you will know. You you will know who the real ones are. Um, what else I was gonna say? Yeah, also, your mental health can be affected by the people that you do keep around you. So keep out, keep out, or keep a look out for the negative vibes. Like, those people that make a situation, like, sometimes I tend to do it on accident, but, like, I don't, that's not the purpose of what I'm doing. Like, I feel like I be doing it, and I don't, I don't like it. So, I, I immediately, like, get it off me. I can go back to what we were talking about originally. Y'all see pieces of my hair, bro? Like, bro. Anyways, um. Yeah, like those folks that will make the situation about them say you come into them with pain in your eyes, pain in your, pain in your tone of voice, whatever, and you're trying to explain like what happened and you're telling them about something that happened. Like if they undermined what you said, or whatever, and it's like, girl, it's not like, so, well, some stuff really don't be that serious, but like if they try to invalidate the way that you feel, love, they're not for you. They're not for you, and, and that's okay. We're, we're going to you're gonna encounter a lot of people that are not for you your whole life, and that's just that's just something that we're gonna do as humans. Everybody's not perfect, and we cannot always find the perfect friend group off back. It's gonna that's definitely gonna take time too, and that's completely okay. Like if you have personal issues that's completely and they're not even really issues like your circumstances situations um you have you have those well I can't think of a better word than issues but you have those things that happen that's okay like it's okay to have something that sets you different from everybody else it's up to you to determine how you will let that affect you in your life and how you go by how you go through the motions day by day. It's up to you to better yourself. So it could have less effect on you. And like I said, a lot of stuff takes time to get over and to be able to move on. Like, I'm not expecting anybody to have it together overnight because that is not how it works. And anybody that tell you that, yeah, this happened to me yesterday and I'm, I'm fucking bomb today, they're lying. It's a coping mechanism because I do like I'm telling you, like, anything happened. And, but people know that I'm not okay. Like, if you've known me for long enough, you already know, like, just give her some time. Like, let her sit there by herself for a little bit or something. Because, yeah. Alright, y'all. So, I have finished taking down my hair. And I just want to take time and appreciate the growth. Like, let's appreciate the growth, the fact that I haven't even picked it out or nothing yet. Let's just really appreciate this moment right here. Like, y'all see, y'all, man, if y'all haven't, like, if somebody watching this that I went to school with, y'all haven't gone to school with me for the longest since middle school, y'all have know that, like, six, like, okay, I don't know folks, like, from elementary school don't really know me, but in elementary school, my hair was the longest fuck, like, when I first started elementary school, my ponytails was like right here. And then kept getting perms or whatever and my ends got cut a little bit too short. So third, fourth grade, my hair was still long, but my ponytails didn't start right here. My real hair, like my hair down start right here. And then in sixth grade, my hair was really, really thin and it was short. It was like right here. Man, I'll probably insert a picture from when I was like little and then sixth grade picture and then now, bro, like right here. It's like right here now. It's almost at my bra strap, like the top of my bra strap. And I love it here, bro. Like, I love it here. Like, let's just, <laughs> for real, bro. Like, let's appreciate the growth. And I wanna read on my hair, but like, yeah, let's like, let's appreciate it. Like, y'all don't even know how psyched I am right now. I know I'm gonna regret taking out my hair because now I have to actually do it, whatever. But yeah, uh, before anybody asks, I do not know my hair texture, whatever. But y'all will get to have a sneak peek of my curls. Um, 
during the rest of this video. Let's move to the bathroom and start the detangling and cleaning process of my hair. So, yeah, let's go. Alright, y'all, so you're in the bathroom and I'm gonna use this first for well, my hair. Basically, this is going to clean and redefine my hair. I'm also gonna shampoo my hair, so, but y'all really gonna see that process. I wanna show y'all the products that I'm using. Like, Y'all will see when I put this on my um on my hair and like when I deep condition it and stuff, but y'all just won't see the shampooing and the regular conditioning part. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, cool. But yeah, um if y'all haven't seen it, haven't seen my um I think it was my online school night routine, then I put this on my face during that. So if y'all wanna see how that works on the face, y'all can go watch that, which will be in the description down below. But yes, you can also use this for your hair. I think I mentioned that in that video too. So yeah, this it helps. It's supposed to help define your curls and everything. And like like I said, y'all are gonna get a glimpse of what my curl pattern looks like. Once again, no, I do not know my hair type. So if y'all think y'all can y'all know or y'all can give me a description of y'all know hair types and what it's supposed to look like and everything, just let me know. Help girl out. But yeah, I'm doing this in the bathroom because it this gets messy and I would rather not get it on my heartbeat and I could just get it on the wood floor and sweep it up. So yeah, without me keep rambling, we'll just get into it. y'all so unfortunately it is the next day um last night i washed and conditioned my hair with the aussie brand you know this is what i use and now i'm about to put in my cancer leaving conditioner and my cancer curling cream and my anti jacket is covered um you know i'm suffering the art of shoe bitch you know, y'all already know how that goes. But yeah, basically, I'm about to put all this in my hair and twist it up and then call it that. So, let's get into it. Alright, so y'all have reached the end of this video. Make sure y'all drop a purple heart in the comments. Um, if this is not your first time seeing my face and you have not hit that subscribe button, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit it, baby. It's free. It's really lit over here. And clearly you like seeing my face and hearing my voice, so go ahead and click that button. And if this is your first time seeing me, hi, what's up, what's goody? Go check out some of my older videos and you're for sure to guarantee that you're going to hit that subscribe button. So go ahead, just go ahead and hit it now. Just go ahead and hit it now. Y'all already know, like, subscribe, comment, turn on my post notifications because I do post irregularly. And yeah, y'all have a beautiful West day and I'll see y'all the next time I record. Bye. So we dead on Yeah, uh-huh Yeah, whole bunch of hunters on me Diamonds on me, so frozen